Yo, what is up, you guys? I hope y'all been partying like every day is your birthday, man. We got another one for y'all today. This one, I honestly don't know exactly what to expect. One of my friends sent me this literally just now. They said it was a funny video. So, uh, we're about to check it out. We got the back of the library it smells like weed. So, you already know, uh, I have no idea what this is gonna be. I really couldn't tell y'all. Well, everyone in Pennington is talking about it. Something smells like weed in that back part of the library. No one has located the source of the weed smell, but witnesses say that it seems to come from that area of the library behind the computer desk between the magazine rack and that weird couch. You gotta find librarian it. librarian Cookie Stevens and library volunteers Margaret Mosier and Gail Fredericks were in the middle of discussing the upcoming used book sale aganza when they smelled something strange. So, Gail, so, yeah. smelled in. marijuana. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's all just calm down one second, bro. They were all ready to tell the story. Oh my god. So, we're like shocked. Yeah. And so Doug goes, Do you smell it? Oh, I thought it was my link was in the I left it smell something funny, like it was on fire. We thought it was Cookie's Link Cuisine on fire. And I couldn't believe it was drawn in the library. Cookie's Link Cuisine, bro. Y'all thought it was Cookie's on fire? Fire. And I couldn't believe it was drugs no, in I've the library. Gail like knew what it was. I guessed. <laughs> it's not like I'm Chooch and Chong or something. Without any way to confirm that the smell was indeed weed, Cookie Stevens called her husband, Sheriff Stevens, yeah. and the local ceramics teacher, Dutch Gibbs, who lived in Seattle for a few years in the 70s. Boy's doing a quick little mosey around. He about to smell it. Yeah, that's weed. Sheriff Stevens has begun complaining. Man said, uh, mm hmm. That's weed. That's definitely the weed. Man, this thing is funny, y'all. These ladies are funny, bro. They all so teed about it. This is like the, the most exciting thing that's ever happened to them, bro. They're like, oh my god, we're in the library. We found the gas. <laughs> it's not like I'm Chooch and Chong or something. <laughs> Without any way to confirm that the smell was indeed weed, Cookie Stevens called her husband, Sheriff Stevens, who called in local ceramics teacher Dutch Gibbs, who lived in Seattle for a few months in the 70s. Yeah, that's weed. <laughs> Sheriff Stevens has begun compiling a list of potential suspects, including that boy Lance who has girl hair and hangs out down by the quarry. Damn, ma! You ain't have to do my boy Lance like that. Including the, bo <laughs> the boy Lance who has curl hair. That's tough, bro. They all my boy Lance's head. They bite the, that one there was a violation. Boy Come Lance on, who man. has girl hair and hangs out down by the quarry. <laughs> Rick Fromke, who was spotted this evening really going to town on some potato skins at Steaky Jake's Steakhouse and Mr. Thompson. Luckily, one young reading enthusiast seemed unperturbed by the illicit smell. I, I hear a lot of people talking about it. I mean, I don't, I don't smell anything. I mean... Yeah, yeah, I, I don't smell anything. That's definitely his I, weed, I really, bro. Really, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely his gas, bro. That's one hundred percent this man's gas. A hundred percent. That boy just smoked that band, went to read a book. I don't smell anything. I don't smell I, nothing. I really, really, really love the library. The weed smell comes I'm on sure the heels he of does, last month's discovery of a gigantic pair of women's underpants in the children's fiction section. According to Stevens, that case remains open as well. Well, huh? too bad it wasn't meth. It just could have had you come down and sniff it out, huh, Kathy? Eat shit, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bro, you did not have to do Kathy like that. She's a meth head, though. She's a meth head. But hey, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely a quick little funny one for you guys. Hey, there's some serious stuff going on in that town, bro. That's probably the most exciting thing that's happened there. And they found a woman's underwear in the corner. Which, uh, what be happening in that library? Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure you guys are staying safe in your libraries. You know what I'm saying? Don't be, don't be doing no nothing crazy in your library. Just meant for reading and research and knowledge. I hope you guys are staying safe and make sure y'all are partying hard. I love y'all. And make sure y'all keep working. Y'all be easy and have a fantastic one. Make sure to like and subscribe. And deuces.